It's a feeling that we, we strive for constantly, you know, that, that feeling of harmony between yourself, the boat and, and the water. And when you hit that sweet spot, it's a very, it's a very unique feeling. And I think it's, it's actually a bit of an addictive feeling. I think that's what we're constantly in search of, is to be at one with, with the boat and the water. That's, that's what we're constantly trying to achieve. And there's not a lot that will stop us getting out on the water, weather-wise, um, rain, hail. Yeah, we get out there and, and get training, get the job done. It's a full-time thing, training full-time, uh, three sessions a day. Um, so we'll be up at 6.30, leaving the house for seven and um, return at around 4.30 p.m. I think in terms of preparing mentally for, for the big races, experience definitely helps, but it's also just how you deal with the, the pressure of the environment. Essentially, what you're doing on race day is no different to what you do day in, day out in training. Um, but there's a, you know, perceived expectations and, and pressures that come onto you and it's just how you can deal with them. Uh, for me, I actually find that I thrive under pressure. When the pressure is really on, that's when I feel like I excel the most. And um, yeah, I think to, to keep a grooming regime, I think is important. As an athlete, we have a lot of structure and um, routines. And I think a grooming regime falls quite nicely into that. It's a, it's a time of the day where you you know, you do have a bit of time to yourself uh, and, you know, the, the clock's not ticking as such and you can take your time and, uh, yeah, I think it's a nice thing to do. I like to feel fresh and, and ready to go and uh, being clean-shaven definitely gives me, gives me that.